This is quite possibly the most intense and strangest encounter I've ever had. Not only did it happen to me, but also my dog and my friend's dog too. In our local woods, there is a path beside a cliff face, and on those cliffs are a series of small caves that we call the Banana Caves. I was never sure why they were called that, but if I had to guess, it's because they were made of limestone and had a slight yellow tint to them. Maybe it was the shape of the caves, but that's not really important. The path we walked was frequently walked by many people. Locals, dog walkers like us, bird watchers, you name it. It's not exactly a quiet path, which is why this was as shocking as it was. My dog and my friend's dog are great, and they're amazing off their leashes. They just go and do what they need to do and don't bother anyone or any other dogs. Of course, dogs will be dogs. Mine being a bit of an adventurer, it began climbing the bank that day toward the cliff face and near the caves. I tried to call him back down more than once. At one point, I called him again, but something had caught his eye. His head went real low to the ground, and his ears went straight back. I thought this was strange, because if it was a rabbit or a squirrel, he would have just chased it. But no, he stood as still as a statue. I shouted louder this time for him to come back down the path. Then there was a huge commotion. He went into fight mode. He backed up while barking and snapping at whatever the heck it was. I began to climb the bank myself in a panic, making sure it wasn't a badger or worse. My dog charged forward, and that was it. He yelped and barked and it was awful. What I saw was this monkey-like creature with pointed ears. It had no fur at all that I could see. It was black and leathery, with black eyes. It had latched onto my dog's neck, hanging onto it, like the way a sloth would do to a tree or a caretaker. My dog shook and rolled fiercely, but this thing just held on. It felt like ages before I finally reached my dog. I'd been running as fast as I could up the bank. My friend's dog joined in on the commotion as she ran past me, and began barking and snarling at this creature and my dog. As I got closer, I picked up a stick and instantly swung at the little creature. Terrified, it was seriously hurting my dog. I hit the thing directly in the back of its head, but it didn't budge straight away, so I hit it again, and this time I cracked it against its back. The creature then jumped off my dog, just like you'd imagine a monkey would. I got a look at it again, and noticed it had a bat-looking face with two sharp front teeth. It did this little spin and looked like it tripped sort of, but eventually it dashed off on all fours, climbing up the cliff face and disappearing over the cliff edge. Luckily, my dog was pretty much unharmed. He had a slight cut above his eye, a cut on his nose, and a cut on his chest that looked worse than what it was. There was just a lot of blood. I have no idea what this thing was, but my friend saw it too from the bottom of the bank and confirmed the exact same thing I saw. I believe it to be a goblin of some sort. Otherwise, I have no idea. If you have any idea, please enlighten me. I'd love to find out more. I live in the northeast of England, if that helps. <laughs>